So I've actually done a couple of videos on Manfrotto tripods up to this point, being the compact action tripod and the 290 extra series legs and 128RC head combo, and I thought I was done but I forgot one. And this one is arguably easy to forget given its size and price, but it's actually a really cool one that I would definitely not overlook. That of course being the Manfrotto Pixie. Now I picked up the Pixie probably a good couple years ago at this point, just wanting to have a really affordable option to play around with a tabletop setup if I needed something. The reality is though, since then, this has become kind of a general, not just tripod, but stand and kind of multi-utility tool I've used for holding a bunch of different things. Right now, as I'm talking to you, I have an Aperture ALF7 perched up on a shelf here, but actually sitting on the Pixie itself. Now I also mentioned previously in my Rode VideoMic NTG video that I've used as sort of a tabletop mic stand to pair with that, which you can use with a quarter 20 to 3 eighths adapter. And to carry on with the audio theme, I actually recorded a kids rock concert recently where I needed to sort of place my Zoom H6 in a spot near the sound engineer. And in that case, I used the Manfrotto Pixie to do that just as well. Now the Pixie does have a weight limit of around 2.2 pounds. So with something like one of my Sony Alpha series bodies and one of its smaller lenses, I'm easily approaching, if not maybe ever so slightly exceeding that weight limit. Though that said, I think you can certainly get away with smaller, really light setups in terms of DSLR is a mirrorless with this. You could also pair this with Manfrotto's smartphone adapter and easily vlog with this for your iPhone setup or something like that. The legs themselves do easily collapse and provide a good grip for using it in that type of setup. And this is something that's going to be a lot more stable and reliable in the long run, I'd say, compared to like a Joby Pod or Gorilla Pod. It has a quarter 20 thread on the top, so again, all these accessories I talked about pretty much, so long as they can adapt to that, you'll be set. Now you'll get about five inches of height on it once you set this up, so it might not provide the necessary height you need for certain applications, but I do think this is a very versatile tool to have. Overall, this is a really great little tripod that I'd again recommend for any type of little accessory you might want to mount on a tabletop surface whether that's a camera, an audio accessory, a light. It's also small enough that you can pack it pretty much anywhere and affordable enough that even if you don't end up using it much, it's really not too big of an expenditure to worry about. And it's definitely something I do not regret purchasing. So that's a really quick review on the Manfrotto Pixie. I know I'm definitely planning on doing more reviews with things like monopods and other gear reviews in the near future. Definitely feel free to like and subscribe if content and gear reviews like this are helpful and have been of help to you. That is all I have to say. So thanks for watching.